Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. You guys are all the way across the world right now in Tokyo, Japan with me. After heavy requests from my friends, I have decided to make a day in my life vlog here in Tokyo as um, a student studying abroad. I'm going to Sophia University, which is an awesome um, private university here that's great with international students and I'm doing their Japanese intensive here I've been doing it for the past three weeks and this week is my last week with finals today we have a test tomorrow we have like a presentation the day after that our oral and written exam I think I'm running late so let's go to school train that was delayed like a whole 15 minutes while I was on it. Japan's usually like always on time with their train. At the end of the day, if anything else goes wrong, their trains will go on time. So to be stuck on the train at rush hour that long was a little crazy. <laughs> These are called Jido Hanbaiki. Book is going to demonstrate right now. What are we doing? What is he doing? He's using the Jido Hanbaiki. I don't know which one I want to get. Basically, the vending machines. They're on every single corner here of the yeah. street. And they're so convenient. And everything is like one dollar. <laughs> I just want to let you know that... Oh, sparkling water, which demonstrate means that your water is alive, which also means that you won't need to drink as much water, which also means that you won't have to go to the bathroom as much. So just to let you know, me and my alive water are one. Bro, this is literally cafeteria food. Like, okay, you're using it what as a mirror. Right We're now. talking about the food. This is how you order. Here's lunch. Another snack, Yuki. This is dining hall food. They poured tonkatsu sauce all over this cutlet. Itadakimasu. <laughs> My mom said, can you bring me back some curry? And all the things that she could have asked. I mean, I'm like, yeah, sure, but why cur curry? <laughs> Test. Hi guys, we just got out of school. Good. Mina's doing the uh, East Asian Studies program, yep. so she's studying fancy stuff, and I'm doing language. And we're gonna go find a place to study now for a bit because we're studious people. <laughs> So I just finished studying with Mina, I just said bye to her and I'm headed to Kichijoji to have dinner with my friend Micah. I'm giving, I'm like your personal reality TV right now. <laughs> Oh 
I just said goodbye to Micah. It's like the end of my month here in Japan and I feel like I'm saying goodbye to people left and right. But anyway y'all, welcome back to my home. Welcome to Tokyo Shin Okubo. Got back from my second to last day of school already here. We got merch. I got a second one for my sister in the same color. They had all kinds of colors, pink, blue, dark green. And then I got this hoodie, gray hoodie version that I'm gonna wear over my gray Michigan sweatpants. So I'm like wearing both schools, repping both. And then I got a little white decal of the Sophia emblem for like a future water bottle. And then I got my ojicha, my grandfather, uh, Sophia cap. My hair looks like a lion's mane today because I finally washed it last night. Today we had our final projects presenting our essays in class and honestly it was really cute and sweet to see how much progress my classmates and I have made over the past few weeks. We learned our final bunpo and kotoba grammar and vocabulary that we need for tomorrow's kimatsu shiken, which is our final exam. And so now I'm going to bring in my laundry that I did last night and then meet up with my friend Book to go study in Shinjuku before we go get dinner. Favorite ride, popping her cherry. <laughs>
took photos, but the hair, the hair, 